And away they go. Favourite got out well enough. Bimanesque in the middle over there. Racing uh, with him. Knock him stiff to the inside. Followed by Glacier Bay. And then came Bryden Bay. They are few lengths off the leader. Commander of all is outside of them. Just can't get enough further back. Ethanator. Miz and Sale behind that. And Caliburns at the back of the field in the white cap. And they six lengths off the leader. Racing the way to the strip now. They go towards the 600 metre mark. And Bimanesque, the favourite in front. The favourite leads the way a couple of lengths to knock him stiff back in second position, followed by Glacier Bay behind that, commander of all, just can't get enough races behind that lot, then Bryden Bay a few lengths off the leader Ethan Eight has got six lengths to go Caliburn is further back, so Beeman-esque now, as they poke past the 300, knock him stiff is racing back in second, Ethan Eight is racing in behind that, they got five lengths or so to make up on the leader, Beeman-esque to the inside knock him stiff behind that, then it's Ethanator, but it's still Beamanesque in control with 100 metres left to go, and Beamanesque is charging home. Beamanesque, another favourite, the first and second openers. They win by five or six lengths. Second to just can't get enough. Knock him stiff behind that and mizzen sell. That will show that Beamanesque in control. Taken to the lead with no chances taken today. Jumped well. Gavin Larina in control was Gavin. Centred about its business for Michael de Kock. Well done to the Assam Racing Syndicate. Mr. Chudder, Mr. de Kock, the Rippon family, all involved in the son of Rafif, and he's just too good for them here. Second race, good result again for punters. The first two, they're firing away. The place accumulator comes up next. All right, welcome back to the winner's enclosure and we've seen a taking performance from a very good looking horse and the sky could be the limit for Beamanesque. Top ride, Gavin Larina out the machine in a flash, went off to lead them. A big well done, of course, to Mike de Kock, who I believe is at Sun City at the moment playing some golf. Good to have Dyer and uh, of course to the ASM Racing Syndicate, to Mr. Warren Rippon and to Mr. Chudder, congratulations. And I believe Matthew de Kock, all the way in Australia, has got some say over here with Beamanesque. So well done to you, Matty. Let's go off to Gav. Well done, Gav. I thought a good ride from you. Obviously, rode him like he's the best horse in the race. What sort of feel did he give you today? Gave me a nice, very nice feel, Brent. Um, I was lucky he broke very nice and clean, and uh, there wasn't much pace around. So he went and led, but he did it like a gentleman. Uh, he switched off very nicely in front. And, uh, you know, I went even fractions, but um, he's a nice horse. Uh, Mr. Cox said to me this morning, you know, just hang on to him a bit because he's got a very good turn of foot. And uh, he turned it on really nicely today. Obviously, think you'll probably be better in behind horses off, off a strong pace, and you'll really see how he kicks. But uh, a lovely win. Um, great to get him winning. Gav, it must be an honour to be riding again for Mike de Kock. Um, obviously, a man that's uh, been behind you for a long time, watched you grow up uh, pretty much. And uh, to be riding these sort of horses and this sort of calibre of horses must just be an honour. Yeah, it is really an honour. Um, you know, it's always beautiful to ride good horses, and it's always special riding for Mr. De Kock. Uh, we've, I've had a lot of success for him in the past, and we've had ups and downs. But they say mud thrown, his ground lost, and uh, let's put that all behind us, and you know, let's win. And good bunch of owners? Yes, well done to Warren Rippon, to Arun Chada, uh, to Mr. De Kock, um, and to, to all the guys in Oz, to, to Matthew De Kock and, and the team up there. Uh, well done to all of them. Gav, if I can quickly take this time just to run through your runners. Uh, Barbaresco, what are you expecting? Good win last time out, but you did say he's not a sprinter. Yeah, he's not a sprinter. Obviously, today is his second run after rest. Um, you know, we haven't, we've haven't. we been working him around, but we haven't been hard on him. So just hoping he comes out this race nicely. Mythical dream, competitive race? Very open race. I think any one of six can win. It's obviously, it's her first time going 1,200. She's got the draw, but she's, she's quite a difficult ride. <laughs> Mula Man, better trip? Yeah, I th probably think he, he's looking for the for the mile. Obviously, nicely drawn again. Uh, it's quite high on the handicapping, but uh, let's hope the, the handicapper proves us wrong. A horse you know well, litigation? 
yeah, obviously second run after rest is prepping for bigger runs, uh, bigger races. So just hoping for a good positive race for me. And then Opera Glass, Gav, um, we know there's not much more improvements over there, but run an honest race? Yeah, look, it's a competitive field again, but on a day she, she's beaten them. So hoping that she, she turns up today. Uh, she's done very well for Mr Moffat and look forward to riding her. And then gave last to Little Mary Sunshine and River Corares. Yeah, I don't know much about uh, Little Mary Sunshine. She takes on the boys, but she's got a lovely draw of one. And, uh, sorry, what's River that? Corares, oh, yeah, River Corares. Oh, yeah, River Corares. Obviously, she's coming down in the ratings. Again, nice draw. So, also hoping for a positive, positive race from her. Thank you very much, Gav. Thank you very much. Big thanks to Volkerbos, Schrifter, Mersenstein, to Mrs. De Kock, and to Dave and Vengi and Mark and all the boys. Well done. And uh, just a special mention to Sean Veal. I had a chat to him about this horse yesterday. He rode it first on Matt, and I get well to him. Super. There we go. Very professional, Gavin Larina. Good to be chatting to the man that does a lot of hard work behind the scenes. And um, you must be very impressed with the way this guy's won today. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, I'm having so much today. Uh, first of all, I want to give the credit to Kevin Larin. Riding very crack race to, to us, of course, there was no pace on the race, so he decided to take it at the front and then he stayed there and then doing the race very well. So thank you so much for Mr. Arun for support that he's giving us for helping so much. And Matthew and his partner, Arun Robin, all of them, there's a thing in Australia. Also to my boss, uh, are doing the very good work to keep to take time to give the preparation for this horse. So it's so many things. So thank you so much for everyone, the team that are behind of us, are watching the TV at home. I'm helping so much with those team, and then plus also our sponsor Bedway. Thank you so much for the things that are doing for us to help me the grooms, give me the uniform, and all those things. I'm helping so much. Thank you. You're doing a wonderful job. Keep up the good work, and well done on the double. Thank you. See you again. There we go. We'll see you probably a bit later on. Well done to Dai as well, who's behind the scenes. And ask Mikey if he can come and accept the 1500 Rand on behalf of the winning groom. Well done. Good start to the day. I know that um, you guys were probably coming to the races expecting to open up the meeting. And that's exactly the way it's worked out. Thank you very much. Super. There we go. Another 1500 Rand. Thanks to World Sports Betting. And uh, obviously a big thank you to Betway as well for what they do for the sport of racing. On the note of World Sports Betting, I must just say happy birthday to Warren Tennis. I believe he celebrates his birthday today. And I have no doubt that he'll be watching some racing on this Saturday afternoon. All right, so that's how we've opened up the bar pod in style. Beeman-esque, remember his name.